Yellow Gamer Realm is back. And in this video, we're going to destroy factories using all 37 swords and blocks fruits. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Realm when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys every time I use my Star Code, I get paid. Oh, and one more thing, I made a Twitter account, so make sure to follow at Gamer Nom Grind for future updates and future giveaways. Gwen, the actor, slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so we're going to start with the gravity cane, as you've seen in the intro. So guys, we're, I'm going to show you the M1 plus skills plus damage. Also for the stats, we have max sword here. Okay, so for the skill guys, first up we got the Dimensional Grasp, Z skill, there you go, damage 2956. Next up, Lunar Blitz, there you go, 3599 is the damage. Guys, we're gonna use Haki now to increase the damage, obviously. So guys, there you go, Z skill again, let's check it out. Boom, now it's 3463, and for the Lunar Blitz, X skill. What can the damage be? 4216. Okay, not bad. So guys, not yet max damage because again, our master series is still 260. So I apologize for that. But most of the swords reach master 600. So I would like to use uh, the first C swords first, okay? After this one, just to be more organized. Yeah, more organized. <laughs> so core has 200,000 HP. And also you can get a CD drum rifle plus fruit here. Okay, gamer number, can you get Gravity Cane? You can get it in the second seed by defeating Fajita, boss drop. Okay, and that's it. Oh, we got a Ghost Fruit. Okay, not bad, guys. Ghost Fruit. Now we're gonna move on to the first sea swords. So, guys, I'm gonna uh, use Katana and Cutlass at the same time because both of them has same skills, right? But they don't look the same. I think the damage is the same. Anyways, Z skill is quite rush and X skill is air slash. So, there you go, guys. Anyway, Gamer Nom, can you defeat this using this kind of swords? Yes, they still have good damage. Like, I mean, they have M1, right? <laughs> there you go. Guys, I'm just gonna fast forward this one because there's nothing kind of interesting with Katana in the Catlass. <laughs> As you can see, the damage is not that high. Uh, the damage for an M1 with Hockey and Max Sword is, I think, 1,400 plus. So it's really low, guys. It's really low. There you go. Almost done here. Okay, so they, can you guess what fruits will we get? <laughs> Actually, there are lots of fruits here. Anyways, I'm kind of excited comparing the new sword, the sword, uh, what do you call this? The Shark Anchor to other swords, right? Let's see the damage. Also, you will be shocked on the damage of some other swords. So guys, for Katana, we got Barrier, and for Cutlass, we got the Light Fruit. Next up, guys, the Mace. Guys, I know most of you don't know where to buy this one because this is not a popular sword but you can buy this on the pirate village there you go so guys m1 not bad <laughs> z skill is may smash and x skill is killer combo so guys before the rework i really love this sword because again i tried grinding with this one and this is really good for 1v1 combat especially for bosses so yeah when they rework this one uh it's not that good anymore <laughs> so guys we're, i'm gonna fast forward this part now so again a core has 200,000 HP. So we need lots of M1 here. <laughs> there you go. Half HP is damaged. Oh, a question, guys. Who do you think is the user of this mace, weapon, or sword in One Piece? Comment it in the comment section. I can name two. <laughs> and for the fruit, we got. Oh, a rocket fruit. <laughs> okay, next up, guys. Dual katana. Before CDK even existed, we have the Dual Katana. Again, you can buy this on the NPC where you can buy uh, the mace. So we have two skills here, the Tornado and the Whirlwind. There you go. We can unlock all skills at Mastery 30. So guys, I think this one, if you're gonna ask me, we're gonna compare. I prefer the mace. <laughs> but this one looks cooler and check it out what is happening. We're glitching. So guys, we're just gonna fast forward this part. There you go. So again, nothing special with the sword, but yes, let's appreciate how they reworked every sword. Every sword looks a lot better now. Okay, check the damage out. So, so far, we can defeat factories using swords in the first C. Yes, as long as we have max mastery, I mean, no mass, not mastery, actually, we only have mastery 65 here, max sword stats. Okay, there you go. So, for the fruit that we got, 
we got a dark fruit. Okay, not bad. Next up is a special sword, the shark saw. So you can only get this by defeating uh, was that Arlong. <laughs> so guys, in the middle town, yes. So let's check the damage. There you go. So guys, I think this is a heavy sword. A heavy sword meaning when you complete the M1 and you hit the floor with it. Wait, I'm gonna show you. I think the Z skill will damage. There you go, guys. It will damage the flooring. <laughs> Just an effect that they included. Okay, so guys, I think the damage of this one is also higher. And the skill is really good. Anyways, for the skill, we have consecutive slashes for Z skill. X skill is Executioner. Alright, so far, so good. There you go. Well, guys, for your information, this is one of the hardest swords that I I got. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just unlucky during those times. And for the fruit, oh, we get another flame fruit. Or this is the first time. Anyways, guys, next up, moving on. For our next sword, we got the pipe. Okay, so I just made a Noob to Pro video with this one. The pipe. Okay. So guys, let's check the damage of the skills. We're gonna start with the X skill, Dragon Blast. There you go. Okay, 3,201. Z skill, Pipe Ignition, 3,023. Uh, so now we're gonna turn on our Haki and let's check the damage. Also, I'm using Goal, Race at this moment, and the skill. Okay, so obviously the damage is higher. <laughs> so again, guys, once I show you the skills plus the M1, and tell you something about the sword, I will be uh, fast forwarding it to make things a lot faster, okay? So this core is almost destroyed for our next fruit. Yes, we got the spike fruit, okay? <laughs> Not that good. Next up, guys, is the triple katana. Oh, guys, one more thing. Where can you get the triple katana and the pipe? Guys, you can get both swords at the frozen village, okay? So we have two skills here. The air slashes, barrage, and the violent rush. So for the damage, 3,293, and for the X skill, I think the damage is the same. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. So guys, I think this is the sword that will launch you forward every time you use your left clicks fast. So yeah, I don't suggest those kinds of, those kinds of swords when doing what do you call this? Uh, factory. Because again, you will launch forward and what you want is to defeat it faster, so you just want to stay in one place. So for our fruit, we got another spike fruit. <laughs> okay, moving on guys, next up is the Warden Sword. So you can get this one from the Chief Warden, right? Or Warden, I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, here it is. You have two skills, the Multi-Target Slash and the Tornado Slash. Okay, wait, let me remember it. Guys, please help me comment it in the comment section. I think this is owned by the Chief Warden, right? Yes, Chief Warden. <laughs> yeah, I remember Chief Warden has the long sword. I mean, a long sword because the long sword belongs to Jamante of the Second Sea. Okay, as you can see, guys, there you go. We're using hockey on it. Okay, so, oh, guys, nice one. We got a Buddha fruit from this one. Cool. Next stop, moving on. The trident. So trident, guys, you can get this at the underwater city. All right, by defeating the fishman lord. There you go. So we get the Z skill, trident crow, and the water pulse for the X skill. Okay. Okay. So did we check the damage? Uh, I wasn't able to show you. So if you want, you can just repeat it. There you go. We're just gonna fast forward this one and move on to our next sword. So, are we done with all the swords in the first sea? We still have the Saber. What else? The Pole, right? And Soul Cane. <laughs> okay, for our fruit, we got the Smoke Fruit. Okay, not the best fruit. <laughs> but still, you can use this one to raid. Okay, next up, moving on. There you go, Soul Cane. So, we can get this one. You can get this at the Magma Village. Okay, there's an entrance there. Okay, see that, guys? Total damage for Z and X skill is 8,000, not bad. But guys, always check the mastery. Mastery is just 125, so you can still increase the damage of this one. Okay. okay. So guys, as you can see, the damage now is getting a lot higher. There you go, 2,500 per left click, which is good compared to the previous sword. So our sword is getting stronger now. For our fruit, we got the chop fruit. Okay, let's make things faster. Next up, moving on. 
is the Saber. So guys, this is a Saber V2, okay? Guys, that is a first skill, right? 3-5. But guys, we're gonna wait for it to like uh, get a critical hit. Because guys, the critical hit is really strong. I'm telling you. It, I'm gonna show it to you guys. Wait for it. There you go. Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Check that out, guys. 9,800. <laughs> I think that is like one of the strongest damage for us for a single uh, sword skill. 9,000. Imagine. <laughs> so, guys, I think you can carry this sword until the third C. Again, guys, Saber. Make sure this V2, okay? There you go. Okay, guys. So, for this fruit, I mean, for this factory, we got the love fruit. Okay, next up, guys. Oh, the headed blade. I forgot this one. You can get this one at the Sky Islands, Skylands, with what they call this the Bicento, right? Bicento. Okay, so the Bicento that we're gonna use after this is a Bicento V2. So, we have two skills here the Raging Wind and the Assassinate. There you go. Assassinate has uh, a requirement of Mastery 20 and Raging Wind uh, Mastery 100. Guys, at first, the first time that I use this, I think it's really cool. The Assassinate, right? <laughs> okay, there you go. Boom. Okay, guys. Oh, we got a Sound Fruit. Not bad, guys. Wow, Sound Fruit. Okay, next up, guys. Bicento. So, for the Bicento. First skill is the Windbreaker. There you go, 5,700. X skill, 5,300. Not bad, but comparing it to the Saber, right? 9,000. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna use it with Haki too. But I won't be able to show you the damage because we're gonna fast forward it now. I already showed you the damage, the skills, and the M1. Oh, 6,000 is the damage of, I think, the X skill. Okay, guys, so for the fruit, what will we get? Oh, light fruit, guys. Guys, did you notice that we're defeating the factory a lot faster now? The next up is the pole. So, guys, we still have pole V2, so watch out for that. I will be showing it to you with the other swords at the second C. So, we have two skills here. First up is the lightning rush, X skill, create damage. Z skill, the explosive cloud, 4 9 damage. I think you can hit it more with the lightning rain. I just, uh, lightning rain, yeah. Did I say lightning rain a while ago? Anyways, there you go guys. Left clicks is really good. You don't launch forward. That is my only requirement for a good M1. <laughs> also, if it's fast. There you go. So what fruit will we get from this one? Let's check it out. Oh, dark fruit again. Okay. Next up guys. Long sword. Oh, so I think this is our second C now. Okay, so long sword. First skill is Annihilate. And X skill is Glorious. Guys, check this Glorious out. Wow, Glorious Smash. Check the effects. So, guys, you need to aim when you use this sword. And there you go. See that? Boom. And the area that you will hit will have some flowers and some uh, green plants. Nah, not bad, guys. Okay. So there you go, guys. You can get this one from Jamanti Boss. So, as you can see, guys, everything is a lot faster now because the damage is a lot stronger. Wait. Oh, I wasn't able to show you. There you go, guys. Check that flower out. We got a rocket fruit here. Not bad. Next up, guys, moving on the GTA. So you can get this one from the boss. Smoke Admiral, that is the first skill. Smoke Leopard. And the X skill is the Smoke Apparatus. There you go. So, guys, something about this boss, it's easy to defeat. And it is near the quest. Quest? Quest? Sorry. Quest giver. So make sure to grind here or this boss when you're grinding levels at the second C. One of the best and easiest way to grind. Okay. There you go. So, what fruit will we get here? Oh, we get a flame fruit. Okay. Again. Next up, guys, the Coco. So, you can get this one from Law Boss. I forgot the name of that boss. There you go. This is my favorite skill, the Injection Sword. Okay. So, some left clicks. Okay. So, as you can see, guys, if I keep on falling, from the core this means that the m1 or the left click of this sword will launch you forward check that out guys injection shot is really good there you go i keep falling because of the left clicks m1 there you go okay so i suggest if if a sword is like requiring you to like use m1 right obviously in a core and if you launch you forward never use it <laughs> there you go so for the fruit, bomb fruit. Okay, next up, guys, Ringoku. Guys, check this out. Ringoku is really good. Also, tip, 
guys someone told me on the quest ah, sorry quest giver on the comment section make sure to step on the the ground when using this or at the course for additional damage per second okay there you go so we have two skills the demon slayer and the burning slash there you go the damage is not as high as the uh regardless uh saber but yeah it's really good reference is from the anime demon slayer check that out See that the dps 5600 damage okay but yeah he will launch forward as you can see there you go keep on launching forward okay for the fruit what will we get okay flame fruit what because <laughs> we burn the core right next up guys is the pole v2 okay so again how do you get the pole v2 first you need to get the pole and you need to finish uh i think five times yeah five times the rumble raid so yeah it's kind of hard to be honest there you go you need a friend to like help you like a buddha friend buddha fruit user so guys z skill is the hand of god the x skill is the electric prison so yeah this is one of the best swords for pvp according to my friends so if you want to get better at doing pvp make sure to study this sword okay pole v2 so for the fruit we got i think oh the diamond fruit still bad next up guys is the midnight blade so you can buy this sword at the curse ship okay curse ship guys i just want to show you this one because i think this is like a continuation of the portal fruit right like the portal uh skills <laughs> anyways left clicks there you go for the z skill we get the portal opening and the x is the present dash so yeah i've seen videos like using this one too so if you want to grind bounties you can use this sword actually you can use any sword as long as you're good if you're as good as me then don't grind bounty skills yeah i make in pvp <laughs> okay guys there you go continue defeating this so for the fruit what will we get we got oh smoke fruit again okay next up guys is the shisui so we are now at the legendary swords legendary three swords so this is not this fruit is not uh this sword is not easy to get sorry i keep saying fruit and then one of this one will keep you lunging forward so again guys you need to get all three legendary swords right to get the true triple katana and yes we're gonna use the ttk here in the c2 okay because we can get this that sword here in the c there you go so how can you get this guys you can you need to look for the legendary sword dealer right so it spawns once every four hours in a new server so guys we got the light fruit here next up is wando okay so again let's check the skills so first up we got for the z skill we got continuous slashes and x skill dragon gust so dragon gust has four six four four damage and yeah i forgot to show you the z skill continuous slash damage anyways i thought at first it's really good to grind with the z skill there you go that one is it moving so if it's not moving then yeah it's good to grind with this sword but yeah we have other choices for the swords which is a lot better <laughs> anyways we're gonna defeat this faster so i can show you the third sword we're done with shisui right next up is wando the other one is sadi or sadai something like that there you go okay so for the sword we got oh another sound fruit not bad okay sound fruit Next up, guys, is the Sadi. Okay, this is how it looks like. Let's check the core. So, guys, we're almost done with the swords at the second C. Yes. So, please bear with me. There you go. We have two skills the sword dance and the true air slash. Wait, let's check the sword dance again. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, the best swords for if you're gonna choose one sword from these three, I prefer the Wando. Because of the Z skill or the F skill, I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, what fruit will we get from destroying the score using the sword? We will get oh a quake fruit. Okay, not bad. And now guys, for our next sword, we get the TTK or true triple katana. X skill dragon hurricane. There you go. 
5,321 damage. Z skill, Wolf Fang Rush. 4 7 damage. Okay? Let's activate our Haki for higher damage. There you go. But, guys, what can you say about the rework uh, TTK? Is it good? Uh, don't compare it with Zoro, right? Okay? Because, again, they cannot copy the whole skill of Zoro because that can be like uh, a copyright, right? <laughs> So for me, it's really good, yeah. Just basing it on how it looks like, there you go. Again, the left with the sword will launch you forward, which is not good. Okay, last one skill, boom. For the fruit, we got flame fruit, okay? We're getting lots of flame fruits. Okay, so moving on, guys. Third C, we got the dark dagger here. There you go, you will launch forward. This is the sword used by Miho, right? When he defeated the weak Azoro version. Uh, I remember that uh, episode. That is like aired more than 8 years, I think 10 years ago, I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, for the skills, Z skill is proficient in pale and the X skill is shame slash -ish. Shame slash -ish. Okay, sorry shame slash. Okay, so for the fruit, we got the flame fruit. And next up guys is the hollow sight. So guys, hollow sight is a mythical sword. And this one is not easy to get because again, you need the Hollow Essence to get this one. And again, Hollow Essence is not easy to get. That's first. And then you need to defeat the boss, right? Also, if you defeat the boss, this is not a sure drop. So again, there's a slight chance that you will be getting it. Even though you get a Hollow Essence. Oh yeah, that's kind of sad. For the skills, we got the Death, Clone, and Soul Execution. You can get this sword at the Hunting Castle. For the fruit, oh, we got the portal fruit, not bad. Next up, guys, is the twin hooks. So we can get this one by defeating Captain Elephant at the Floating Turtle. So guys, for the skills, we got the Sky Cyclone. There you go. Oh, no damage. X skill prehistoric punt. What? No damage again. <laughs> I think you need a target. So I think you can. At first, guys, uh, I had a problem like attacking this. There you go, guys. 3-5 is the damage, and for the prehistoric pawn, can we damage it? No, I think no. Sad. Anyways, we're just gonna fast forward this one. So yeah, I think we're gonna damage this with the X skill prehistoric pawn. Guys, now that I noticed, I think the name of this is the skill of this sword is compre uh, same with the mammoth fruit, right? <laughs> yeah. For the so I for the fruit we got oh a ghost fruit. Okay, ghost fruit. For our next sword, we got the Canvander. Okay, so where can you get this one, guys? Uh, defeat, you can get this one by defeating the... What is the name of that? The boss, the beautiful pirate, yes. At the Floating Turtle 2. So yes, you can get two or oh, three swords at the Floating Turtle. So yeah, we will be getting the other sword later. Don't worry about that. We have two skills here, guys. Uh, we got the Scattering Gust and the Piercing Dash. Also, if you want to grind uh, bellies, you can defeat. keep on defeating the beautiful pirate, if you're lucky. <laughs> there we go, okay, let's just make this fast so we can move on to the next sword. Yep, 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 okay. Okay, guys, so for the fruit, we got the pain fruit. <laughs> next up, guys, the shark anchor. So, guys, this fruit is hard. Uh, I keep on saying fruit because I'm really used to that. Anyways, this sword is really hard to get. We have two skills, the Typhoon Toss and the Armor Breaker. So guys, this is really hard to get. It's the newest sword, right? So you need to unlock like two accessories plus uh, what else? Yes, after that you will get the Magnet. And after getting the Magnet, you need to fight a Terror Shark. Okay? Not just a Terror Shark, a Terror Shark with 195k HP. And after that, there is a high chance that it will drop the Shark Anchor. I'm, I don't know if it's 100% because one of my friends didn't get it. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, a left click will launch you forward, which is not good. Again, I'm telling you if you're doing poor. See that, guys? Keep on falling down. And for the fruit, guys, we will get ice fruit. Okay. So next up, guys, is the body sword. So you can get this one at the Sea of Treats by defeating Big Mom. X skills, lightning wave. Z skill is the heat slash. So I like this heat slash because of the DPS. Oh, 5,000 damage without the hacky. 
Also, guys, notice that we're using pilot helmet. This helmet doesn't increase your sword damage. Okay, there you go. Check it out. The damage will reach 5,800, okay, when using hockey. Not bad. Okay. So we're just gonna finish this one up and move on to our next sword. Anyway, I haven't shown you the fruit yet. <laughs> After that, okay? It's almost dead. So, okay, so for our fruit, what do we get from defeating this one? Oh, a rubber fruit. Okay. So guys, last three or four swords. Next up is Tushita. So guys, this is really good for PvP too. According to one of my friends. Yeah. He has like max bounty and almost at max marine uh what do you call this honor yeah <laughs> anyways it has two skills the celestial ravager and the heavenly lunges toshita's sword you guys the partner of toshita yes again toshita won't be here without this sword the yama so they're partners there you go guys how can you get yama guys toshita is harder to get compared to this one you just need to defeat 20 or 30 elite hunters yes uh, you need to finish 20 to 30 elite hunter quests finish 30 just to be sure okay there you go it has two skills the heavy hellish slash and the infernal hurricane so guys if you combine these two swords you will get the cdk yo this is for me one of the strongest swords so far in the game there you go it has two skills the revolving ravager and the slayer of goliath so, stat requirements, I mean mastery, so Slayer of Goliath, 375, and Z-Skill Revolving Ravager, 175. Okay guys, so after this, last sword, okay. So, oh, sorry guys, is that cheating? I used Sanguine Art. <laughs> Anyways, we got the Flame Fruit here. So guys, after this, next up, the final sword, we got... The, the, the dark blade so this is the hardest sword to get if you don't have robux or maybe if you have lots of fruits you can just trade this one maybe five or maybe ten <laughs> i don't know ten leopard fruit there you go it has two skills also this sword can be upgraded until v3 so z skill is the one thousand slices and the x skill is the dark air slash okay so guys, I think that's it for this video. Let's check the fruit first that we will get. Okay, almost there. Boom. And that is it. So we got the sand fruit. Again, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, all swords, defeating factory. This is Gamer Nom. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.